Morning guys, welcome to What I Eat Wednesday. So I'm still at my mom's house. I am going home tonight. Um, then oh, she has another friend coming over. It's gonna spend the next couple nights and then she's home. So I've been snacking out on her breakfast. I almost, I never have bread for breakfast, but she has these pretzel buns. So yesterday and today I've been having it. So these are the Portofino, pretzel kaisers and there's a reason why I don't buy them myself because otherwise I'd want to eat like two a day uh, so I'm having this for breakfast I figure I won't have any bread or anything for dinner so it evens up but they're just so good mm. so I'm back home now and for lunch I'm having some scrambled eggs um, on lettuce, on romaine lettuce. Dan put it in a wrap for himself and I was like, oh, I had, I had the bun this morning, so I really shouldn't, so I didn't. Honestly, I think I'm better to have no carbs, or like not a lot of carbs, not bread in the morning, so I can rather have it at lunch, but didn't think of that. So, first we heated up onions and mushrooms, and then with lots of herbs and spices, um, and then added the eggs in there, and then I put it over, um, yeah, just two romaine lettuce um, leaves, <laughs> and then with some salsa in there as well, so. Still really flavorful. I'm just gonna enjoy this for lunch. So I'm on my way to work now, and I have tea with me, peppermint tea. I finished the Tatley tea as well, so now I'm on to this one that Dan gave me for Christmas. It is Mesmer tea. Also peppermint though. I'm home from work and Dan, the amazing boyfriend, made dinner for me again. He did roasted cauliflower because I found cauliflower on sale at, well, just a local Pepper's grocery store for $1.67, I think, for um, per head. They call it per head, I think so. And they were good sizes too, because the last ones that I got for two for five or no, I think they were $3.99 and that was a good price. Those ones, they were like small and scrawny. These ones were good sizes, plus I got the biggest one. So, mm, I already tasted it when it was in the pot. <laughs> I was like, yeah, oh my god, I dropped! Well, I got some chloe on it. It's not good, it has garlic on it. Oh, it. All over it. <laughs> it was delicious. Did you like it too, Chloe? We don't feed our dogs garlic cauliflower, except that one. All right, so what was in it, Daniel? Cauliflower head, Italian seasoning, breadcrumbs, uh, minced garlic, put in some Italian spices and chili pepper. So what did you do first? Do you cut up the... You have to cut up the cauliflower head, then you uh, grease the pan, put all the, all the cauliflower into a Ziploc bag, uh, add olive oil, minced garlic, and any other spices you want to put in. What spice did you do again? Italian and chili. Mmm. Lots of chili. It Last time I didn't do the chili. Yeah. That's why it tastes really good. Um, then you mix it all up in the bag really well, a couple minutes, and then you pour it into the container. Mm -hmm. Put it in at 450 degrees for 25 minutes, and you stir it once. Um, then you take it out. I put on some uh, breadcrumbs with some olive oil mm. and some more spices, and uh, then we put still that have... on top and put it under the broiler for him. Did we still have nutritional yeast. yeast or no? I didn't put any on. I didn't, oh. I didn't That's why it tastes really good, but so I'm so excited. That's what we're gonna have for dinner, and oh, it's so good. <laughs> as soon as I walked in here, I'm like, mmm, he made it. Yes. <laughs> so this is what my bowl looks like now with all of the cauliflower in there. It smells really good. So we just walked the dogs, a late walk, um, and now I have some coffee. <laughs> Coffee's always good. Just to warm up. I can sleep in tomorrow, so it's okay if I am awake <laughs> for the next couple hours. But I think that's going to be it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.